Hi, this is John Lee, also known as Darth Furby. And today I'm working with Anime Studio 6. I just want to show off a special script that was developed by a member on the Anime Studio forums by the username of Rudiger. And he came up with this really uh, cool bit of code that is available for free to download on the Anime Studio Forum site at uh, www.lostmarble.com. You can pick up this special, I guess you could call it a plugin. And um, what this plugin does is it allows you to work with 2D characters almost like they're 3D characters, but they're still it's they're still 2D characters. So in this example I've set up a grid of nine different bones and each bone I've assigned a different angle of the face of for this character. So this bone This bone represents her looking up. This represents her looking down. Come on, select. This bone represents looking screen right. Film bone would select. And then this bone represents the character looking screen left. You get the idea. My computer's a bit laggy. Um, the script is still early in development so I'm not sure if this is something that can be improved on the scripting end or if this is a if this is just a limitation with your, the ability for the plugin to interact with Anime Studio 6 itself uh, I think it's still in development so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that um, it won't be as laggy in future iterations um, but I wanna show off what this script can do right now even though it is a little bit laggy you can still work with it uh, part of the reason why it's a little laggy on my system is because I have a lot of um, vector points built into this character it looks like a simple design but believe it or not there's like a lot of there's a lot of um, there's a lot of points to the mesh of this character uh, and it's all vector artwork so let me show you what this script can do. This bone I have highlighted, highlighted right now is the control bone. And as I move it along the grid, you'll see that the character will start looking in the direction based on where this control, control bone is positioned. So right now I have the control bone positioned over the top right of the screen. So that's where the character is looking. Now she's looking to the right, now she's looking down, and you can see how I only drew nine frames, I mean nine different angles for this character, and the computer is calculating all the other different angles as I'm moving the control bone around the grid. I highly recommend checking out Funks My Name's YouTube videos on this script. He has a really cool setup with lip syncing and expressions and he really goes into detail and lays everything out on how, on how you can build something like this. Um, mine is actually much more primitive compared to what he's done. But this is all 2D artwork. So the nice thing is you don't have to be restricted to making sure that your design, your character design can be constructed in a 3D modeling program. You can go with a illogical, doesn't have to follow laws of physics 2D design. A perfect example would be Snoopy, a character like Snoopy. You really couldn't build Snoopy in a 3D program because Snoopy is strictly a 2D design. I mean, when Snoopy's looking directly at you, at least the way 
Charles M. Schultz draws him, it's not quite, it doesn't really, it's not a logical design. Um, so you couldn't really build Snoopy accurately in a 3D program, but you could build him accurately in a 2D program like Anime Studio 6. And like a 3D production pipeline, I have to admit, there is a lot of work involved in setting up all of these different angles. But once the work is done, um, unlike a 3D program, even after you've built the model in a 3D program, there's a lot of time and energy spent in posing it out. But in 2D, you know, the animation that part of it is pretty easy. Like, the character can look anywhere I want this character to look within seconds. And if I want to create a specific expression on a certain frame on the timeline, well, you know, I just adjust it manually. I just go in there and adjust it manually. It's much faster than working in 3D. 2D, you just push these vector points around. I can have her smiling. I can have her blinking, doing all kinds of different things. Um, and uh, just by moving this control bone around, I can have her doing it at any angle that I like. And the nice thing is if you do create those expressions on the timeline, you can actually capture it into this bone grid system. So this is something that you can't do in any other 2D program. Um, and the amazing thing is that the script is free. So right now it functions well in Anime Studio 6. They recently released Anime Studio 7. There are certain issues with Anime Studio 7, so I highly recommend trying to snag a copy of Anime Studio 6 if you can, but if you get Anime Studio 7, you can still work with it. There, there are some issues, but you can render in, in, uh, in vector format your animation using this um, script. So feel free to check it out, Anime Studio Pro, and Thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting, and I will see you in another video. This is John Lee, also known as Darth Furby, at www.darthfurby.com. Thank you.